Hi, this is Mona for Thermoweb and today I am going to show you how I created this cute Halloween tags with the new Decofor transfer sheets. They are super cute and really easy to make. If you like something, you can find the used supplies in the description box below. I am starting the process with die cutting. I am creating the die cut frames with decofoil foam adhesive and have you been add on die set from Lamfan. I am adding the foam adhesive sheets to the luxury white premium cardstock by Gina K Designs. This will make the thin foam adhesive die cut more stable. Next, I put the frame die to the top of the foam adhesive. The adhered cardstock should be down and the sticky side with parchment paper faced up. Then I fixed it with purple tape and run it through the die cut machine. This will add a nice dimension to the tag. Instead of stamping, I will use pretty shiny foils on the frames. So I picked the Peach Princess, Glass Slipper and the Enchanted Rose deco foil transfer sheets, which are beautiful and as you can see, they have beautiful reflections as well. This time the foiling will be easy peasy without hot foil machine. I just placed the picked foil to my workplace with colored fades down, then removed the parchment paper from the frame die cut and placed it on the top of the foil. Now I am pushing it well with bone folder and remove the clear foil. If it's needed, you can put back the foil and do the same thing until you are happy with the result. When the frames were done, I continued with die cutting. This time I run the cardstock die cut from the Have You Been at Don die set through my die cut machine with the same white cardstock. Then I created a black fence with black onyx cardstock and spooky fence border dies by Lamfan. And because I don't want to measure and fussy cut, I run this die cut with a larger piece of die from the Have You Been die set as well. Next I continue with ink blending on the white jar die cut. I am using the wilted violet, pink raspberry, and Peacock Feathers Distress Oxide ink, as well the regular mini inks in the same color to add a bit more contrast to the edges. And in the end I added slight touches with Black Suit Distress Mini ink for all the backgrounds. Now I am going to stamp some images with my Misty using black ink with the Fairy Friends and the Fox Costumes Before and After stamp sets by Lamfan. Now I am showing you how I colored these fairies. I am using my Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers and I am showing you the caps of the actually used colors on the left side of my workspace. If it's hard to see which I am using currently, I put the numbers together with the products in the description box below. If you are enjoying this tutorial, make sure to give a thumbs up so YouTube will know that you want to see more content like this. And if you are not already, please subscribe and ring the bell so you will not miss any new tutorials. When the coloring was done, I added white highlights to the images to have more contrast. It helps really a lot to pop out the image. As you can see, the dress is not colored. This is because I want to foil them. I am going to make this with help of the decofoil adhesive pen. All you need to do, just pick a scrap piece of paper or a clean corner on your cardstock, press down your pen and hold the adhesive tip until it starts to flow. And you are ready to go. Now I am coloring the dress with the wet decofoil adhesive pen. I am trying to follow the outlines, but it doesn't need to be perfect. After waiting a few seconds, I am putting a piece of foil on the top of the test pot, and if it's okay, then I am putting it over the fairy's clothes. Next I rub it well with my fingers. The best part is the reveal. It looks super pretty. Love it. 
I made a quick fussy cutting off camera. I added some die cuts with ultra bound adhesive. Then I added the images with 3D foam squares to their right places. When it was done, I stamped the sentiment three times with watermark ink to a black cardstock. Applied white embossing powder, then heat embossed it. When it was done, I added the sentiments to their right place. In the end, I have created three more jar die cuts, this time from Onyx Black cardstock. I have put adhesive on it with the Tape Runner Excel adhesive, and before I am adding the sandwich together, I am putting between them a grey cord. And the super shiny Halloween tags are done! I love this cool iridescent shiny look. I hope you will give it a try. You have still time to create them. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Have an amazing day. Bye.